Hi, I'm Katrina from Katrina and Clayton, building a food forest in Scotland. We have something a little bit different for you today. We have our temperature blankets that we did all of last year as a project. So a temperature blanket is just simply crocheting or knitting one row every single day to do with what temperature range there is. So you can either choose the highest temperature, lowest temperature, the average temperature, we chose the highest temperature of each day in our garden. We had five different colours and we set each colour into a different gauge. So every time there was a temperature, we'll check what colour it was and then that is the day we would use to crochet. So we had five different colours. We had the white going into the grey, going into the dark egg blue, into the vintage peach and then lastly with the mustard. Let's take a look and see what they look like, shall we? I think they turned out really great. We ended up having two double size blankets. I had to stop in June and then start a second one in July because it was so big. So one of them is 190 centimeters wide by 260 centimeters long so they are very big i used a 10 millimeter crochet hook two strands of dk because i like using a thicker chunkier wool so i used the two strands with the bigger hook which made the blanket very big not complaining having two Double size covers to put on the bed is fantastic. And you can see the five colors that we use. It gives it a really chunky, blocky look rather than a very stripy effect. But the whole idea was to monitor the weather throughout the year so we had a visual that we could then compare to the weather from this year. I wanted to, at a glance, know exactly what colours corresponded with what temperature. So we added a border on the edge and this little section here is to show which month is which. So it just kind of dictates where the January stops and February starts and they go all the way along the edge of the blanket. This top blanket here is January to June and the one underneath is then July to December. So you can see the different colours on each of them, even though they look very similar. This year we are doing the same project. We have got five different colours again. We're using the same gauge. We've got the white and grey again because I have so much left of it and we've swapped up the last three colours. So we've now got a green, a light soft pink and then we've got a raspberry pink. So it's going to be great to compare them every year. This is January so far so we can actually then compare it with last year's and see what it actually looks like. It's over on Instagram and we'll be posting monthly of our progress and how we get on each month and we will revisit this in six months time to see how far we've got. Clayton absolutely loved watching this project grow last year. So this year we're having him involved. We're having him fill out all the details in our Sewing Growing Weather and Seasons weekly garden record book. So he's able to be included in this. He can write in the highest and the lowest temperatures that I get to use each day and record the temperature blanket. He's really enjoying being involved this year and he's also picking out the correct colour matching the gauge. So it's something that we can do together this year, which is always great fun. So this is our book available on Amazon right now.